New at 5, we checked with local cyber, cyber security experts today and learned they're already at work to comply with a warning from Homeland Security. Channel 2's consumer investigator Jim Strickland is in Gwinnett County with why the government wants you to wipe out Apple's QuickTime software. It's potentially a pretty, pretty bad threat. Homeland issued this warning, saying the threat comes from the Windows version of the Apple QuickTime video player. Apple's no longer providing fixes for security holes in the software. Network engineer James Wright says that's reason enough to scrub the program. They don't write any fixes for it, and you're surfing the web or going to sites that are using a, some sort of attack for that, based on that vulnerability, then you're going to be at risk. Atlanta IT Service was writing a special computer script for client machines across the country. Once we write this one script, it'll be run on about 2,000 computers. Engineers here at Atlanta IT Service actually showed me this, a map in real time showing the hacks going on across the globe right now. QuickTime already has two security holes in it, but Wright says half of Windows users either won't get the message to uninstall QuickTime or will ignore it. You get a busy family, you get soccer, you got events, you got things to do, and so it'll just get overlooked. To get rid of QuickTime on your machine, select Uninstall a Program in Control Panel, double click on QuickTime, and follow the prompts. Here live in Gwinnett County now, I reported on Twitter about three hours ago that the Georgia Technology Authority had alerted all state agencies to delete QuickTime from their Windows-based computers in the executive branch of state government. That's more than 37,000 machines. Reporting live in Duluth, Gwinnett County, Jim Strickland, Channel 2 Action News.